Hi there, welcome back to CSS Cast. Well, in this chapter, you are learning about material design using material design light framework, and particularly, we are learning about navigations. Yeah, so that is really cool. Well, in the last movie, we have installed this uh, style sheet file, which is actually material design light framework style sheet file, and we have also included this uh, script file. That is really great. And let me just uh, show you the preview of this page we have actually, you know, done in the last movie. This is it. Great. So let me get back to here. And now what I'm going to basically here, let me get rid of this uh, guy over here. I don't need that anymore. And now let's go ahead and create our very first navigation or you can simply say toolbar. Great. So now the very first thing you need to do here in Material Design Lite, you first need to create a simple div here. That is really cool. This is really simple. Now in this div, you can create here a class which is going to have a class name of MDL, which is Material Design Light, then an hyphen or simply a dash shine, and here you can say layout. Yeah, that's it. So MDL dash layout. Well, this is really important here. Now, put a simple space here, and here you need to place one more class, which is really important and required to add, and that is MDL JS layout so it's actually going to make decision or something with javascript it's automatically going to you know uh, do that for you so this is really required two classes here mdl layout and mdl js layout that's it so this is really important cool now here inside this one you can simply create a header here which is going to be your header part of your website and in this header part of website you can simply say here class and now you know this is actually mdl layout here so now you can simply say it here MDL layout and here you need to place double underscore and then you can say here header yeah because this is MDL layout header well let me tell you that these particular classes is following the convention of BEM I mean BAM I mean block element modifier and if you don't know about BEM then I have entire chapter dedicated to block element modifier so go ahead and search for chapter that name is BEM understanding block element modifier in real world examples in that particular chapter I have explained this BAM naming convention in complete depth so if you don't understand this one go ahead and give it a shot great so now in a header I mean in your website header there could be multiple rows yeah so what you can do here that inside this one you can create another div which is going to have a class of mdl layout which is actually the parent one and then here you can see header row so you can see here header and then this is gonna be your header row yeah so this is really important to like you know place these classes here this nesting is important first you need to say that okay fine this space is going to have material design layout so for that you need to place this class mdl layout and mdl js layout after that you need to say okay fine this is my header part so in header part you need to place your mdl layout and this underscore underscore header which is going to be element and this part is actually block here and now inside this header you can have multiple rows so here you need to say here mdl layout which is actually this block then this header which is going to be element and then dash row okay cool so now you got it that's really great now here you can simply create a span so you can say here a span and there you need to place that your title of your website so here if I say here material uh, design uh, light or you just have another uh, title for your website like you know this is gonna be your uh, main website name so it's gonna be like a like you can say code tube uh, YouTube you know Facebook it's really up to you so fine this is gonna be your main website name here and here what you need to do you need to say this material design light framework that okay fine this is my main website name so you need to say here MDL and then layout which is actually this block level element here MDL layout MDL layout and then you need to say here title 
and that's it if I get back to here now you can see reload it and you see material design light let me actually just you know uh, exit from full screen mode and there we go so this is your header navigation this is really perfect this is really cool well let me tell you that if you want to add here shadow it's really easy let me actually just show you one I like so much and I used it a lot which is here you can see here material design and let's set here a uh, shadow uh, which is going to like you know open our quote pen link here this one I really like it so much so I used it a lot in my like you know <laughs> many project especially in this uh, CSS cast here so you can actually grab any like you know shadow here so let me just go ahead grab someone for you actually let's go ahead grab this one right there we go and if I get back to here and if I simply just get back to here and now you can see this is actually your uh, header here so you can simply set here MDL layout header you can simply just go ahead and target this class here so MDL layout and here you can say here a header and here you can simply say this box shadow if I get back to here reload it and there we go there's actually a shadow so yeah it's really up to you if you want to place it's really up to you okay fine this is one thing now what happened if you want to add some link here well you can easily do that let me show you. you can simply get back to here and now what you can do you can simply just go ahead and here you can add link well let me tell you that that is gonna be uh, your navigation because this is the header part so you can use this uh, nav markup here which is by default in HTML5 for navigations and here you need to add here class which is going to say here MDL and which is going to say here navigation so this is material design light navigations that is really cool and now here what you can do you can create like you know as many link you want so in this case I'm going to create only three so a into three and here I'm going to make use of emit well let me tell you that if you don't know about emit I mean Zen coding so let me tell you that Zen coding is going to help you to just code your HTML or CSS faster well if you don't know then don't worry because I have entire chapter dedicated to emit or Zen coding so go ahead and search for a chapter that name is Zen coding coding super faster with emit and there you will learn everything about emit that is really cool so this is the a into 3 it simply means it's going to create three anchor link so there we go see it's created but I don't want that I need it here a class name so which is gonna be a class name which is going to say MDL and then you can see here navigation which is going to uh, like say that okay fine this is MDL navigation part and thus double underscore and here it's going to say okay fine it's actually a link so that is really cool now here I need something in my this you know MDL link here so I can simply say here uh, link uh, one two three okay so this is by default counting here that's it and this is the only thing I want here so I can simply just go ahead expand it and there we go so you can see here this this is actually a link which is going to have a class of MDL navigation link and then link one link two link three that's it if I get back to here and if I reload it you can see link one link two link three that is really cool but uh, this is not the thing I like here I need these links to be placed right here not you know in just front of the, my main website name right cool you got it so now what you can do here you can simply you can see this is the first part this is the second part so I need some space between these two so what you can do here you can simply just go ahead and create a simple class which is going to have a class name of MDL layout and here you can see here space right so spacer so you can simply say here spacer yeah that's it that's the only thing you need to do here and if you just do this if you get back to here now if I reload it you can see now our navigation is ready this is our main website name and these are the links see wow perfect isn't it yeah I really liked it so you can see this is really easy to create awesome responsive navigation well let me just you know taste its uh, responsive here so what I can do I can simply just go ahead click here and now here's one problem if I just resize it in just tablet devices it's going to be disappear yeah it's actually by default uh, in material design light so yeah this is going to disappear and this is for good reason and I will talk about it when we actually comes to a uh, drawer here but now let me tell you that if you want it to look even in smaller devices then you can easily do that by adding here here you can simply say MDL then layout 
and then you can use this uh, double dash sign which is actually modifier again if you don't know this convention go ahead and just watch that BAM chapter here great MDL layout then double dash which is going to modify it and you can simply say here fixed header which is going to make it fix uh, in even small screen devices so if I just go ahead and now if I just go ahead resize it you can see it's still appearing here it's not disappearing even in small devices okay great so yeah this is really cool but uh, I think this is not that much good I mean it's maybe good for you because your need is uh, different right so it's really up to you but I just want to tell you that you have this option you can simply just add this um, MDL layout fixed header and we're going to just you know look it even in small devices see yeah but if I just go ahead and get rid of this class here it's not going to look you know uh, this uh, in the small devices here so if you see it's, it's disappeared okay cool so that's it this is your very basic like you know navigation uh, in this material design light framework which is really cool so yeah that's it so let me actually make this uh, links to be a little bit more you know generic here so I can simply say here a oh, home and let's say here like something like you know uh, anything uh, profile yeah I kinda like this profile name here and here let's set here something like you know uh, anything <laughs> let's say here a contact so there we go contact which is going to look really but uh, elastic here so reload it and there we go home profile contact so that's it so this is your very basic material design navigation which is very responsive great so that's it for this movie so thank you so much for joining this movie and see you in the next movie